And finally tonight, the Koch brothers, Charles and David, put together would be the third richest person in the country. Their company is consistently one of the top two biggest privately held companies in this country. They are worth more than $21 billion each. But now the Weekly Standard reports that their feelings are hurt because people have actually started calling attention to the fact that they bankrolled the Tea Party, opposition to health care reform and opposition to anti-pollution measures. Those poor, thin-skinned billionaires, I'd say, huh? They are so sensitive that two months ago, uh, we learned they had hired Michael Goldfarb to help defend them against the claim that they used their money to help themselves. Goldfarb is a contributing editor of the Weekly Standard, the conservative magazine owned by Philip Anschutz, a friend of the Koch brothers. And sure enough, the Weekly Standard has come to the Koch's rescue, literally painting them as victims of a witch hunt in a cover story by Matthew Continetti. Continetti, like Goldfarb, is the past recipient of the fellowship funded in part by Koch money. What a fraternity these guys have. Here's some of the Koch self-pity he passes on. Remember the fake David Koch who called Governor Walker of Wisconsin? Uh, David Koch calls it identity theft. And then Koch says the press attacked him instead of the prankster when it was really Walker they went after. And listen how badly President Obama hurt them. Uh, he has done more damage to the free enterprise system and long-term prosperity than any president we've ever had. That's David Koch, $21 billion, whining about the president who has overseen a 50% leap in the stock market and record corporate profits. With us tonight, documentary filmmaker Robert Greenwald, whose latest project is called Koch Brothers Exposed, a series of web videos launching Wednesday at kochbrothersexposed.com. Good evening, Robert. I would assume you have quite a bit of material to work with. What do you have for us? Uh, we have so much, Ed. We've been on this for about four months now. Our researchers have been uncovering uh, fact after fact, campaign after campaign, much of it AstroTurf, much of it where they're hiding what they're doing. But the numbers, Ed, are really extraordinary. It's truly hundreds of millions of dollars that are being funded and being used at every step along the way. So from the way they fund, they're actually very smart. They fund ideas. They they fund activists, they fund people to go on television, and then they fund politicians. It's a full and complete chain. Even at $21 billion net worth for both of them, they're pretty thin-skinned, which tells me that they, are, they have an emotional stake in all of this. What do you think? Does that come out? I th it very much so. In fact, my daughters came up with a great word that I hadn't heard before. They call it a pity party. And that seems to be what's going on with them right now. You would think, because they are truly affecting hundreds of millions of people's lives, Ed, the number of issues that they take on, everything from union busting to climate change uh, to unemployment insurance to student loans, you would think that people who were so dedicated and so hostile to so many of the positive American values would be ready for this kind of attack and blowback, which is a long time coming. And we all owe a huge debt to Jane Mayer and Lee Fang and Addie Stan at Alternet, who've been researching this. And what we're going to do with our Koch Brothers Ex Exposed campaign is show this issue after issue, video yeah. after video. Robert Greenwald, thanks for doing this work. It's going to be interesting to follow. We'll talk more about it.